so happy that the Ravi Shankaran Memorial Conservation Science Symposium is being held in Bangalore. Uh, Ravi was a, a, a friend, a very, very dear friend. Uh, and we uh, go back to the time when he was working on the Lesser Florican in Dudua and I was working in Point Calumet, uh, both for the Bombay Natural History Society. Um, and from that time uh, to his untimely passing, we have been uh, in touch and very close. Uh, Ravi uh, and I worked first together uh, for the edible nest swiftlet protection uh, in the Nicobars and Andamans. Uh, Ravi was working uh, on these swiftlets for a long time and came up with the revolutionary idea, at that time revolutionary, that the nests of these swiftlets could be harvested and sold by the local villagers uh, after the birds had finished nesting uh, and, and they could earn some money from it and it could be sustainable. However, the Wildlife Protection Act prevented uh, Ravi from doing this. I was then working in Traffic India and Ravi came to me to first seek some funding and support uh, to um, see whether the harvest could be sustainable. And uh, I remember we gave him uh, a grant and uh, after which he came to, help, to seek help in pushing the policymakers in Delhi and we had many meetings uh, together for that. But my, my eternal memories of Ravi goes back uh, to the time he and I and Tara spent in the Andamans and Nicobars. Uh, together. Uh, and of those memories, the uh, two things that stand out were uh, going into the edible nest swiftlet caves with him. And once uh, his dropping down into the cave, flashlight in his mouth, uh, and I was waiting to drop down after him. When he shouted from inside the cave, he said, uh, you know, Vivek, don't, don't, don't come in. And I looked down and saw that there were two uh, snakes coiled uh, at the bottom of the pit and Ravi was standing with his uh, legs astride there uh, and um, I, was, I was worried about his safety but before I could do something two, two crabs, two large crabs came out from both sides and caught the snakes and, and ate it up. It was the most amazing natural history experience uh, with Ravi standing in, in this dark uh, cave and the uh, snakes being eaten by the crabs. Uh, the other thing that I remember was uh, with Tara, uh, Ravi and I uh, in, a, in a boat uh, with Ravi uh, trying to force me to go uh, to, to wear a life jacket and go into the water and see the wonderful world of the seas. But I don't swim and I was extremely reluctant to get into water and Ravi responded by actually leaping down underwater and bringing me uh, stuff like sea urchins and sea cucumbers down from the bottom. He used to bring it up show it to me in the boat and then leap back in uh, like a dolphin. He used to leap out of the water and into the water and go back and place them exactly where he had found them from uh, and trying to get me to uh, go into water. I finally did and nearly sank as a result. I couldn't swim, uh, nearly drowned and he and uh, Tara and the boatman had to pull me back. That is my memory of Ravi. But, but my, my, my over, overarching memories of him were of a rebel who, who loved uh, stretching everything to the extremities. He stretched life to the extremities. He stretched conservation science to the extremities. He used to like smoking a pipe uh, in the BNHS just to rankle people. He used to ride a horse to office in, uh, in, uh, at Sekon in Coimbatore uh, just to rankle people. Um, uh, he, he, he used to uh, do stuff like go out of communication for months on end uh, in the field. Probably that not to rankle people, but in doing all that, he had great fun, uh, and in in having that fun, he was also doing some exceptionally good science, and exceptionally good uh, naturalist work, and exceptionally good conservation. Uh, it is sad that uh, Ravi was taken away from us so soon, but I hope this conservation science symposium that the Wildlife Trust of India is extremely happy to support uh, will, to some extent, keep his memory alive and will encourage the, the youth to be as fearless as Ravi Shankaran uh, in their thought and action. I wish you all the best. Thank you.